Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Presto Flipside Belgian Waffle Maker. It weighs 5 pounds, measures 12 inches long by 11 inches wide and 4 and a half inches high. This unit makes a thick 7 inch waffle. It comes with an instruction manual with a few recipes. The exterior is brushed stainless steel. The interior is non-stick. The handle is cool to the touch so you can flip the waffle easily. There is a digital display on the side and a timer that counts down when baking. The timer doesn't turn the unit on or off. Hold the button down until you see a double zero. Press the button for each minute. You can set the timer for 1 to 30 minutes. When there's 1 minute left on the timer, there will be 2 beeps. When time is up, there will be 5 beeps. I'll put the link to the waffle maker in the description below if you want to try it out. Before the first use, wipe the inside with a damp cloth and let dry. Let's go ahead and test the waffle maker. Keep the unit closed and plug in the machine. The signal light glows while the waffle maker is preheating. It took 3 minutes to preheat. The lights turned off means the unit is preheated and ready to use. Open the waffle maker using the handle. The first time you use it, wipe a light coating of oil to the grids. I just use a paper towel dipped in a little bit of oil. You won't need to do this every time unless it becomes hard to remove a waffle. Pour in 3 quarters to 1 cup of your waffle batter in the middle. If you're using a thick batter, spread it out with a heat resistant spatula. I'm going to use my 1 cup dry measuring cup and pour the mixture in the middle. It's a little bit thick so I'll spread it around. Now I'll set the timer to 4 minutes. Close the lid. And now I'll flip it over. You can see there's steam coming from the top. While cooking the light may go on and off and that's normal. The cooking time for different batters may vary. Generally when you no longer see steam coming from the unit, the waffle's done. The time on the timer here will just keep flashing. So when it gets to one minute, it counts down and beeps. Those are the five beeps indicating that the waffle's cooked. Open the machine. And there's our waffle. It looks brown and nicely cooked. It's crispy. You can use a fork to get it out or it comes right off with your fingers. It's a little hot. Beautiful and golden brown. It's pretty even on both sides. Really nice. You can hear it's crispy and you can separate it easily. Just open this up. It's steaming hot inside. It looks cooked and soft on the inside. I'll have to taste this, of course. Mmm, that's a really good waffle. It is nice and crunchy on the outside. And fluffy on the inside. The waffle is nice and thick. It's about an inch in height. If you want it less brown than this, you can set the timer to maybe three minutes or three and a half minutes. You really have to experiment and find the time that works best for you. This one waffle with some fruit is a filling breakfast. I'll go ahead and make another waffle. This time I'll set the timer to three minutes and see how that comes out. Close it, flip it over, while you're making waffles, keep them warm in a 200 degree oven. You can make a lot of waffles and freeze them if you'd like, pull them out for breakfast and toast them. They taste so much better than the cardboard frozen waffles at the store. Our three minutes are up, let's see how this is. Okay, so there's the waffle at three minutes. And you can see it, it is golden brown and it's not too brown like the four minute waffle. So 
So you can make this waffle in three minutes. I used the recipe for the classic waffles in the Presto booklet. Beautiful. Let's check the inside. And it's cooked on the inside, so three minutes is good for the classic waffle recipe. With this recipe, you'll get five waffles in 15 minutes. When you're finished, unplug the unit. Let it cool and wipe the grids with a soft cloth. The outside can be wiped off with a damp cloth. To save space, the unit can be stored vertically like this. Hold the handles together and flip up one of the red locking levers to lock the unit. To unlock before use, drop the locking lever back. I like the one minute warning beep because if I'm away from the kitchen, I know I have to run back and get my waffle. The Presto waffle maker made waffles that are crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. It was evenly browned. The unit's easy to use and stores neatly. The link to the Presto is in the description below. I hope you found this review useful. Subscribe for more reviews and thanks for watching.